Welcome to my channel. Today we have another review. We will be discussing the Vostok Amphibia, which is a Russian automatic diver. It's super robust. I've used it now for several months and I'm very pleased about this watch. You might be surprised if I tell you that you can purchase this watch almost anywhere in the world for about 60 US dollars. I ordered this one straight out from Russia and um, it's really a steal for the price. What you're getting is a watch with a beautiful dome. I think it's acrylic, it's not real glass. It has a bezel which you can move into two directions, bi-directional. As you can see here, it has a date wheel complication, fully automatic. It comes on a very flimsy uh, metal uh, bracelet, very cheap. Big screw down crown. Sound, which means it's charging. What it also includes is hacking. Hacking is a very useful option. Uh, which you can use to stop the, the, the second hand. So if I apply uh, some pressure uh, to the crown, then the uh, second hand stop moving. As you can see here, it just stopped moving. And this way you can use to set the time very accurately. We have a um, Russian in-house movement. It gets uh, charged when you wear it. Another way, as I explained, is you can use manual wind to charge the watch with the crown. As you can see, it's beautiful uh, signed um, case back, all in Russian. And um, we have a, a signed buckle, which is pretty. So this is the um, original case from uh, the Vostok. It has some information in Russian about the movement. Let's go over the dimensions. So you have a few about the size of the watch. But the size of the case is about 40 millimeters, including the crown. I would say it's about 44 millimeters. We have a thickness of about 15 millimeters. The watch strap is 18 millimeters. What I re can recommend with this watch is to wear it on a NATO strap or a rubber strap or replace the strap with a nice metal strap. I recommend for this watch is to wear it on a nice rubber strap. And uh, this rubber strap, you know, I think it looks very good. Also, what you could do is uh, wear the watch on a NATO strap. I think it would go well. Or just uh, a black one. Um, yeah, I think the NATO strap looks very good with it. And it, um, you never lose the watch. You have a proper beater watch. What you have here is a very, very iconic Russian diver watch super robust um, on a very cheap bracelet that you should dispose of I think immediately I think it has a proper size and proper thickness to a sports watch I wouldn't wear this watch on a suit I don't think it will be as strong as a G-Shock the Casio G-Shock but uh, then again this is a proper automatic movement watch I think it, it looks very cheap it's very shiny. I'm not even sure if this is proper metal. I've owned uh, three uh, Vostok Amphibias. And what I can tell, the screen is very prone to scratches. It's not like um, a crystal case or a uh, sapphire crystal. The acrylic easily uh, attracts scratches. But then again, this is a super, super cheap watch and uh, 
I think it has lots and lots of value. So if you have any questions, please uh, leave your comment and uh, I see you in my next video.